What is a doctor's weirdest case of a patient accurately self-diagnosing? I had a patient come in convinced she had a rare tropical parasite despite never having traveled outside the Midwest. She diagnosed herself using internet research and was absolutely insistent, bringing printed articles and detailed symptom logs spanning months. Her presentation was unusual, she won on chronic fatigue, digestive issues, and strange skin sensations she described as crawling. Standard blood work came back normal. Honestly, my initial assessment was anxiety and possibly hypochondria, especially given her elaborate self-diagnosis theories. She kept insisting on specific tests for parasites I'd never seen outside of tropical medicine textbooks. To appease her and rule out her concerns, Concerns, I ordered the comprehensive parasite panel she requested, expecting negative results that would help redirect her toward mental health support. The lab called me directly three days later. She was positive for Dracunculus medinensis, guinea worm disease, something I'd only read about in medical school. This parasite has been nearly eradicated worldwide, with fewer than 30 cases reported globally each year, almost exclusively in remote parts of Africa. The investigation revealed the source. She'd purchased natural spring water from an online vendor that claimed to source from pristine international springs. The water had apparently come from a contaminated source, though we never definitively traced the origin. What amazed me wasn't just her accurate self-diagnosis of an incredibly rare condition, but her methodical approach to research. She'd cross-referenced her symptoms with obscure tropical disease databases, considered transmission routes, and systematically ruled out more common conditions. The treatment required coordination with the CDC since guinea worm cases must be reported internationally. The months-long process of removing the parasite was exactly as medieval as she'd researched, messiciently winding it around a stick over weeks as it slowly emerged. She handled the entire ordeal with remarkable composure, frequently knowing more about her treatment protocol than I did. I had to consult tropical medicine specialists and historical medical texts to properly manage her case. That experience completely changed how I approached approach patients who come in with unusual self-diagnoses. Now I listen more carefully to their research and consider possibilities I might not have encountered in typical practice. Sometimes patients become experts on their own conditions out of necessity, especially when dealing with rare diseases that most doctors will never see. 